and the Wuladat was 17th, 17th of Rabi'ul Awwal. Mm. I have two questions yes. from the viewers. But before that, I'm going to ask you, mm. there was a documentary last night on yeah. Channel 4 mm. in which they were showing a different madrasas in UK from different towns. And in that documentary, they showed, um, they had taken the camera secretly and they, they were showing physical violence, literally physical violence towards the boys of like 10, 17, uh, 10, 12, 8, and as young as 8. I mean, we just could not watch that documentary, number one. Number two, they were telling the students in the madrasa, do not befriend Christians and Jews because they are going to go to hell. Furthermore, there was a mullah from, he was visiting from Pakistan apparently, he was a Deobandi and he was telling the children there, do not befriend people who have beard less than a fist, they are like snakes. So I was wondering, and I mean, they, they were showing literally, I mean, they were hitting the students with tables, pushing them, slapping them. Okay. And do not befriend people who have a beard less than a fist, they are like snakes. Okay. I wonder who were they referring to? Number one, the behavior of violence That's against children, children is completely, yeah, we'll take the call later on, completely un-Islamic. Yeah. It is a crime Absolutely. in Islam to abuse children. just couldn't bear children. watching it. In Islam, it is wrong to hit an animal. Yeah. We have got that our infallible Imams, yeah. one of them Imam Zayn al-Abideen alayhi salam, sometimes his animal did not move. Yeah. So usually people hit the animal yeah, to move. Yeah. To move. Yeah. Imam used to raise his hand mm. to make the animal move. Then he used to say, لَوْلَ الْقَصَاصِ لَضَرَبْتُكِ If there was no Oh, Co yeah. account on the day of judgment I would have hit the animal yeah. but even he did not hit an animal to make the animal move yeah. how come we hit children and those who sent their children to the madrasa they did not send them to be hit yeah. they sent them to be taught and to be taught the teachings of Islam, not to world, face, yeah. not to face un-Islamic behavior. Absolutely. In fact, we Muslims are suffering, we are suffering from the wrong understanding of some Muslims more than our suffering from the enmity of non-Muslims. Mm. Really, if you count how many Muslims are killed by same narrow-minded so-called Muslims yeah. in Iraq, in Pakistan, yes. in other places, mm. by those who think that others or other Muslims mm. does not even have the right to live, you find that our sufferings from yes, yes. these people is much more than what we suffer from non-Muslims. And about the beard. Of course, Shia Muslims usually don't have long beards because Islam didn't say that you have to keep your beard long. No, you have a beard, but that's it. Anything which can be seen when you talk to people yeah. from the usual distance of conversation, yeah, yeah. that is enough. And in fact, on the contrary, we have got an authentic hadith is that when the beard goes more than fist, the rest, which is more than fist, is for shaitan, for, for evil. So this man is referring to Muslims who have beard, but not as long as he likes. Mm. 
look at the narrow-mindedness. He wants all people to be like him, photocopy. Otherwise, those Muslims who have faith and they keep beard, but not as long as he likes, he calls them snakes. This is an example yeah. of fanatism, narrow-mindedness, and all Muslims, of course, we condemn it 100%. But Muslims should be aware not to send their children to such schools. Be careful, don't send your child to a madrasa where narrow-minded people teach, because otherwise your child might get poisoned. Brainwashed. Brainwashed. Totally brainwashed. And also I want to ask the TV station who, those who have broadcasted and showed this film to people, we in the UK, we have got thousands of places for Salah, means masjid, centers, Imam Bara, Husseiniya, madrasa, religious school, thousands. Most of them don't have such thing. No. If you have in one place or two places, is it fair to publicize it and show that as if Muslims are doing this? Yeah, yeah. That's true as well. Don't you see in many churches mm. what is going on? Can we say that churches are bad places? Mm. Because in some churches there are some wrong things done against children. Mm. Mm. So it is wrong to generalize. Mm. That's true. It is wrong. It is not the attitude of people who... A civilized people. Yeah. People who are civilized and people who are just to generalize mm. the mistake of minority on the general mm. Muslims. No. Mm. All Muslims, Sunni Muslims, Shia Muslims, every Muslim is against abuse. Mm. Any abuse against children, mm. against even animals. And also we believe and we preach mm. love, respect, peace, not hatred. We have another caller. Yes, over. please. Ji, hello, assalamu alaikum. Hello. Hello, assalamu alaikum. Alaikum assalam. Sister and uh, Sayyid, uh, I'm, I'm Ron calling from London. I have a question relating yes. uh, to the question one brother asked uh, a few minutes ago. Hmm. It's relating uh, like um, some people say that Islam spread in the world by the, uh, by the sword. Yeah. Uh, I'm just having a question, like, the, you know, the Islamic successors, like the people, you know, uh, attacked some countries. They had, uh, my question is, have they any right, being a Muslim successor, to attack some countries to be a uh, public property, like, um, especially for Hazrat Umar, he attacked on lots of countries, being a Muslim successor or the Muslim king, to attack on other countries. Uh, is, does the Islam say that being an Islamic or Muslim successor, we have right any to attack on any country? Okay. So please, thank you. Okay, thank you. The scholars in Islam, the followers of Halul Bayt, are very clear following Quran and the authentic hadiths that if any ruler is stopping people preventing people from their freedom. We can only remove the obstacle from the way of people. But no one says that we have to force anyone to become a Muslim. No one. There is no right for anyone to enforce Islam on anyone else. La ikraha fi deen That's it. Okay. Uh, like I was mentioning to you earlier, I have two questions from the viewers. Okay. Uh, I'm going to read them. Um, number f the first question is that uh, my parents are divorced. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. 
الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين 